Yeah, I don't. Uh, the, the stats don't mean a whole uh, ton to me, to be honest with you. I thought our defense uh, played incredible. Um, you know, we holding the twenty, a uh, couple of uh, uh, fourth down stops inside the five, and and, and so on. Uh, you know, I don't four fifty, uh, two hundred, whatever. Defensively, we played well enough to win today. Um, we just didn't do enough offensively. Obviously, uh, you know, you get blanked and uh, can't move the football in, in the second half and. Um, you know, it's uh, uh, I expect more, um, you know, from us offensively, regardless of who we're playing, and, and um, just didn't get it done today. So, um, you know, if they had 450 yards of total low, um, that's one thing. But uh, if you're at the game, the way our defense played, uh, to be honest with you, I thought our effort, toughness, physicality everywhere was was great to see. I don't, I don't think our guys back down or, or look like they didn't belong. Um, but uh, defensively, that was an effort that was good enough uh, to win today. And, and um, unfortunately, we just didn't uh, put it all together with the other side. How nice is it to see Austin be able to break through a couple times and get a couple sacks and you know, really make life difficult for more there? Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, uh, there's a handful of names that you can mention on that side of the football that uh, uh, played really well today and, and awesome being one of them. And, um, you know, but that's, uh, uh, you know, I think, think something we talk about uh, every week, um, you know, whether you're going into the fall, uh, Tuesday interview, whatever it might be, uh, Schlicht, Beeks, uh, Owen, uh, Dante, right? All, all those guys are a cribbing, uh, coming off an injury and giving the effort he did today. Um, you know, I just thought everybody on that side of the football, um, we were violent, um, physical, um, you know, and, and um, uh, proud of that. How disappointing was that fake punt as far as, like, everything seemed to be going your way to that moment and then? Yeah, it's um, <clears throat> obviously you don't ever want to give up those types of plays. Uh, you know, the special teams deal, backbreaker. Uh, we ended up getting stopped after that one, right? So it wasn't uh, – the end of the world, uh, you know, we make a, cu a call that uh, we got them backed up. We're going to try to come after one. And, um, you know, it's a potential for a big play our way. And unfortunately, we, we uh, cut one guy loose and they saw it. Uh, give them credit, right? Made a play on it. And, and um, uh, just a tough deal there with the momentum we had to not get the football back in a short field. But, um, you know, it is what it is. It also felt like you didn't give up big plays in terms of, like, uh, the big – you know, flying, long pass and that kind of stuff. It was all short things that turned into bigger things, which, I mean, can happen, but that's also got to feel good that you weren't, like, just getting run over or, you know, thrown over or whatever. No, I, I uh, you know, I said it to our guys during the week. I, I feel like our defense is, uh, you know, that caliber where they're, you know, they're not going to get uh, run over by anybody. Um, you know, the, the, um, Big plays they did have, unfortunately, were, you know, in a lot of third and longs with those deep digs. You get down the field and, you know, if pressure doesn't get home, you got a good cue sitting back there and, um, you know, just a, a bad recipe at that point. If you can't get any pressure and let them sit, then they got speed that gets down the field and, and um, you know, gets to those spots. So they made a couple plays and, and give them credit on that. It's not like you're, uh, you know, going to hold them to nothing. It just was uh, tough situations. I, I don't know how much uh, – you know, time of possession they had on that first drive of the third quarter, but, you know, they convert a couple and, um, you know, what we have three, three snaps, we go three and out uh, after getting the stop and then they get the ball right back. So I think they had the football for the entire third quarter. And, um, you know, when you, you find a way to get off the field, regardless of it being an eight or nine minute drive, whatever it was, we get the stop down in the red zone and then we just can't do anything offensively to either get them back out of uh, the situation where we can flip the field or, or you know, whatever. And um, it was just tough. We, we uh, played our butts off, and, and um, unfortunately, we didn't uh, help out enough offensively to where we could either keep our defense off the field to get them fresh or, um, you know, make a play, obviously, to get it to where it was a, a one-score game at that point. And, and um, you know, they get the last score, and at that point, the hole is just too big. Is there a sense that if Ethan had been healthy, maybe this would have been a little different? No, I don't think so. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, Ethan Champney, I think, is one of the best receivers in the league. So it, it, uh, it always helps having that kind of guy in the game. But, um, you know, it was just too many times. I think we're going to go back and watch it where, um, you know, we've got guys in the quick game that are there and, um, you know, we just don't make the place. So now you're second and ten and, um, you know, it makes it a little bit tougher at that point. In order to beat that football team, you got to consistently move the football, whether that's a first down run, a five-yard throw, whatever. Um, 
and we just were not able to do it today. I, I don't think it's anything that uh, we don't have the personnel to do. Um, you know, it's like I told the guys after the game, we, we are too talented at Q and wide receiver to, to, uh, to do what we did today. And um, again, they're good. Uh, they've got talent in the back end. They press us the whole time. Um, we knew they were going to do that. And, and uh, unfortunately, we just we didn't execute offensively. And that's just the end of the story. No doubt about it, and and that's everybody. The Q, the tailback, the O line. I thought did a really nice job today, uh, running the ball. Um, again, in the first half, if we could have got one score uh, to where you're tied at halftime, or even down one score, you know everything's still live at that point. By the time we get the football back in the fourth quarter, it's you know twenty to nothing, and we just didn't move it enough at that point. So then you're trying to throw it, and um, but Jake ran hard. Uh, the O line. Uh, Played really well. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I give them a ton of credit. We, we talked about them for the last couple of weeks. We got new guys playing in certain spots. And um, against that defensive front and that box, uh, to play with the effort and toughness that they played with um, is a good sign for things moving forward. Um, but again, we, we, you know, if you're going to uh, beat that team, be in a situation where it's competitive, um, it's got to be consistent execution, pass game, run game, uh, the whole deal. And, and um, we just weren't able to do it. Yeah, I, I, uh, um, I appreciate you saying that. Um, you know, it, it is my opinion, the opinion of our guys in our locker room. Uh, we are a better football team to, to take a more of a victory against anybody. Um, you know, there's some guys that are hurting right now, a bunch of guys that are hurting that, that uh, we felt like going into this when we had a chance to knock this team off at home, the whole deal. And, um, you know, to not uh, – make it competitive, um, you know, that part is tough for our guys to handle. So um, very proud of the effort, the toughness, physicality that we played with. Um, but again, it gets back to the, uh, the execution part. I think we have too much talent offensively to uh, put up zero points or really not move the football at all, especially in the second half. And, and that part is uh, tough for our guys to handle right now.